It's Texas Stadium, and the fans continue to come in as we get set for another great matchup. Glad you could be with us. Tonight's game promises to be a good one. Both teams extremely well prepared as the Oilers get set to take on the Cowboys. We're here for another great game. Welcome to the action. I'm Al Michaels, my partner, John Madden. Now, here's one of the better quarterbacks in the league, and the great thing about him is that he always gets the job done. Maybe it's selling a play pass or throwing a block on a reverse. He's always out there doing the little things to help his team to victory. The Cowboys have a few receivers that he likes to throw to, and here's one of them. There's no question these two have developed that chemistry, and he's always finding an open spot on the defense to give his quarterback a target to hit. It wouldn't be surprising to see them hook up a few times in this one. And you can tell that defense is fired up and ready to go. I don't think we should keep him waiting any longer. The lights are on. Both teams are ready, so let's go to the field for the opening kickoff. The Oilers are lined up for the kickoff. Should be a return here. From the six-yard line. They're ready to call their first play of the game. First and ten. Number eight will work out of the shotgun. Throwing on first down. Throws it. He hits his receiver. They picked up the first with that pass. That's a case of your receiver knowing where the marker is and getting there and then going up and get the pass. So they have first and ten here. The Oilers come out in a nickel package. Smith. Fuller holds him down behind the line. Great penetration there. Well, that's the thing. To stop any kind of run between the tackles, you have to get some sort of penetration. You have to get into the backfield, and when you do that, you make the back change direction, making him go where he doesn't want to go. Well, John, both of these teams appear to be very evenly matched, and it has the makings of a game that might not be decided until late in the fourth quarter. And this is the type of game that I really look forward to. You've got two great teams out there with a lot of talent on both sides of the ball. This one might not be decided until the very last drive. Out of the gun. Makes the throw. He goes to the left side. Off the ball, he makes the catch anyway. Amazing play by Harper. And that's the type of thing that can happen when you get this guy the ball. He's going to move the ball, and he's going to move it with speed. First and ten. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Fuller stops him at the 43. Gain of about a yard. They have to get the ball inside the 34-yard line to convert for a first down. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. With the carry, Dishman makes the play at the 38. Four-yard gain on the play. This is the seventh play of this drive. About four to go. The Cowboys line up with two backs behind the quarterback. Rosen, he hits his receiver with the hurdle. He'll feel that one tomorrow. Yeah, with how hard he just got hit, he's lucky to be able to hold on to the ball. him down behind the line and it looks like there's a penalty <laughs> and it appears this one will be a hold that's what happens when your feet and your body get going in the wrong position and this is the eighth play of this drive the oilers come out in a nickel package the pass play here on first down launches it deep to the left incomplete two to all for the intended target play of this run. Only one man in the backfield. He's going for it all. This one falls incomplete. So the pass falls incomplete in the end zone. The 
tenth play of this drive. The lineup of six defensive backs. Floats one into the end zone. On the money. Touchdown, Dallas. And he's able to get open in the end zone. Great play. The defense just seemed to lose track of him down there. They have to do a better job keeping the play in front of him so that that kind of thing doesn't happen. So they're trying to tack on the extra point. And it's up. And he tacks on the extra point. The Cowboys are set to kick it deep. He got all of that one. Using the stiff arm, the Oilers will start to drive from the 22-yard line. Ball on their own 22. Gibbon moves in motion. Number 30, Woodson records the tackle at the 23-yard line. Number 30 was stuffed on that play, John. They're just relentless when the offense decides to run the ball. They break down blocks very quickly, and they do a good job maintaining their gap assignments, limiting cutback opportunities. Hand it off. They'll go with a play fake. Jones with the stop at the 27. Picked up a few yards on the scramble, John. He's one of those guys who's willing to run to make something happen. You have to be aware of that kind of thing on defense. They need six. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Hand it off again. Woodson brings him down at the 29. So a pick up a baby three. Unable to get anything going on that series. They'll have to punt it away here. Here's the kick. Fair catch called for. First and ten. Split back this time on the ground. Ooh, that one will leave a mark. He got caught. I'll tell you one thing, he's going to feel that in the morning. Couldn't find much of a hole, and he's brought down there for a gain of what looks like a couple. Yeah, you talk about push. This line got no push at all, and there was nowhere to go. It's second down and nine to go. And off to the tailback, number 59, with the tackle at the 35-yard line. That run didn't get them much. Yeah, there was a defender in every gap ready to make the tackle on that play. It's third down, and they have a long way to go. Nickelback in this time. Number eight sends a man in motion. Throws it. He hits his receiver. Dives and brings him down. Jet is back to punt. Here's the punt. Fair catch. It's first and ten. They'll go from the I formation. Number 30. Misses the tackle. Smith makes the play at the 28 yard line. Gain of three. They need six. Number 30. The lone setback. Number 30. Edwards makes the tackle at the 30 yard line. Pulled down after a minimal game. They just manhandled him at the line of scrimmage. 
I always say that if you win the battle in the trenches, it's going to go a long way towards your winning the game. A little over four to go. The Cowboys come out in a nickel package. With the carry. Nice play fake. And it's complete. Brown makes the tackle at the 47. Now this is one heck of a play. Look out. You're in a hole here on third down. And they come through with this perfect play that gets them a first and keeps the drive going. Boom, with a man in motion. They give it to the halfback. Edwards is the guy who's there to bring him down at the 47-yard line. Number three was dragged down before he could get to the line of scrimmage. They have great size and quickness up front. That allows him to hold up against the run while also giving him the speed to rush the passer when they drop back the pass. The defense lines up in the nickel. Drops back. Gets rid of it. Almost in a second. He makes a great play by breaking the pass. One thing remains constant. No matter what kind of quarterback you are, rushing your throws is going to end up in incompletion or worse. Sixth play of this drive. The Cowboys come out in a nickel package. Under pressure, gets the pass off, and he fails to hang on to that one. Gibbon did a nice job getting open, but he couldn't make the catch. Sometimes he has trouble facing the more physical defenses in the league. Number 29, lines up deep for the punt return. Here's the kick. From the 26. So they have first and 10 here. Only one man back. Throwing on first down. Pass. Incomplete. He has a great arm, but that pass was just a little bit too long. They really like the way he throws a deep passes. He can make all the throws. The short ones, the medium ones, the long ones. This guy can do it all. Now, he'll struggle with his consistency every now and then, but they sure could do a heck of a lot worse at this quarterback position. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Came off for the tailback. Ooh, that one will leave a mark. He got hit so hard, he darn near had to take a taxi back to the stadium. That run won't move them far. The lineman just failed to open up any holes to run through or give him room to work with. Third and nine. Split backs this time. Closing in with the throw. Pass throws incomplete. Number eight, not the coverage he was looking for, but a great defensive effort forces the incomplete pass. Jet will come in now to punt it away. Johnson is the deep return man. Here's the punt. He's waving for the fair catch. So they have first and ten here. Only one man in the backfield. Gets the handoff on the delay. Smith makes the tackle at the 32. Short gain on that burst through the middle, maybe half a yard. I don't think I'd call that run a burst. That was more of a limp up the middle. Second and ten. Five wide receivers. Flings it to the outside. Short completion, hitting his wide receiver to the left. Caught the pass, but didn't go anywhere. Yeah, the defense was real good at putting a quick end to completion. It's third down and six to go. Dallas comes out in their nickel package. Going to the right. And he's tackled at the 36. Gain of about a yard. Very solid defensive effort to force the three and out. Here's the punt. The officials are trying to determine where it went out of bounds. Right. 
So they have first and ten here. The Oilers come out in a nickel package. Donaldson makes the play at the 39, and that was a gain of seven. So they need about three here. The one quarter of play, separated by a touchdown with the score. Dallas, seven. Houston, zero. The teams has switched sides, and we'll start the second quarter. They need about three. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. On the delay. Diving tackle to bring him down. He goes straight ahead for the first down. Those big old linemen did a heck of a job of just driving back that line. And when you win that battle, it's tough to stop him when you only need a couple yards. So they have first and ten here. Smith, the lone back. Passing on first down. Pressure coming. Gets rid of it. And it's complete. Donaldson records the stop at the 46-yard line. Nice read. Finding a receiver who is in single coverage. It's first and ten. The Cowboys line up with two backs behind the quarterback. Johnston. Diving tackle at the 44-yard line. He was fortunate to get anything on that one. That's a tribute to their strength and conditioning coach. These guys spend almost as much time in the weight room as they do on the field. And you see it pay off. And the guy can turn a play that looks like a sure loss into a play for a couple of yards. Smith, the lone back. Smith. Down he goes. At the 36-yard line, the Cowboys are handling the defense right now. They haven't even had a third down in this drive. So they have first and ten here. Number eight with split backs. Game ball to the tailback. Number 91 records the stop at the 34-yard line. Not much on that play. Yeah, and that's what happens when you talk about a disciplined defense. They stay at home and wait for the runner to come to them. They need to get the ball inside the 26-yard line to convert for the first down. Johnston comes in motion. Hands it off. Stop behind the line. Loss of a couple. Smith couldn't escape the pursuit and was cut down quickly. These guys up front are very tough to block because they can use their size and strength to get excellent leverage on running play. Sometimes they struggle a little with their consistency, but they always seem to be a big factor when the game's on the line. The Cowboys line up with two backs behind the quarterback. Rowing drops the interception. He couldn't come up with the interception. The quarterback has all the tools to look for. He just needs to be a little more patient out there. He's one of the best in the league, John, but it's a little surprising to see him in from this distance. The kick is up. The kick sails through. It's good. He's one of those guys who really works hard at what he does. And you can see that hard work paying off when you make a kick like this one. Booming kick downfield. From the four. No first downs on that last possession, John. Let's see what adjustments they've made here now to try to move the ball more effectively. First and ten. Only one man in the backfield. They give it to the halfback. Haley with the tackle and the 19. He might have gotten a yard or two. That guy got knocked around by that defense. He needs a little protection from his lineman. And they need about nine. The Cowboys come out in a nickel back. It's broken up. Good call by the defense as they set the corner on a blitz. He just had too much pressure in his face to see anything. And he threw one out there. Lucky for him, it wasn't picked off. Get 
gets rid of it. This pass is incomplete. Despite excellent hands and a pass right on target, the receiver can't bring it in. He's a trusted possession receiver who the quarterback looks for whenever he needs a big catch. This time he dropped it. But I'm guessing that they'll continue to look in his direction when they need that big play. So three and out, and they'll line up to punt. Here's the kick. He can't control the ball. The Oilers scoop up the live ball. So after the fumble now, it's first and ten. Dallas comes out in their nickel package. He tucks it away. He's brought down behind the line for a short pass. Couldn't find any success in the middle. And the thing is, that's where it all starts, with alignment. And whoever can take control and dominate in the trenches is going to have a huge advantage over their opponent. They'll need to get the ball inside the 24 to convert for a first down. Number 30, the lone back, drops back with the throw, and he can't find a way to keep possession. Not much touch on that pass. May have tried to put a little too much oomph on that throw. As they get ready for this third down play, we'll take a look at how they've done today. Third down is when you want your players to dig deep and make a clutch play. When you convert, it gives your defense a little extra rest, and it gives your offense a fresh set of downs to work with. Keep the drive alive on that catch by Gibbons. And the quarterbacks have confidence thrown at this guy because he's got some of the most reliable hands in the team, and probably in the league. They're in field goal range. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Good play in the backfield. Lex explodes across the line at the snap and then makes his way to the quarterback. Yeah, you know, that's an important quality to have if you're going to excel as a pass player. Explosive. Now they're looking at second and long after the sack. Receives the handoff. Really? This one falls incomplete. He should have caught that one. That was a pretty good throw, and the receiver was able to get to it. He just couldn't close the deal and bring it in for the catch. Sixth play of this drive. Moon will work out of the shotgun with the pass, and it's caught. Big pop that time. You want someone there to tell you to watch out because he just got dead. Hill was there to make the catch for the first down. He's glad he made that catch. I'm sure the quarterback will look his way again when he needs another first down. They're eight yards from the end zone. Only one man in the backfield. Moon with a man in motion. Aimed it off to the back. Drop behind the line. Oh, 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 oh. Number third didn't have much to work with on that one. That's because the defense did a good job anticipating the snap count. With an aggressive defense like this, a hard count could be an effective way to keep them off balance while trying to draw them offside. The Cowboys come out in a nickel pack with the throw. Incomplete pass. Looking for the end zone on second down with no completion, and it's third down. This is the ninth play of this drive. Boom goes to work with an empty backfield. Gets rid of it. Number 84. He's in there for the score. The kicking team heads out onto the field. And it's up, and he tacks on the extra point. The Oilers can tie it up with a field goal. And the kickoff team comes out onto the field. Nice distance. From the 11-yard line. Still running. Fumble. The Cowboys. Scoop it up. It's first and ten. They'll go from the I formation. Number eight with a man in motion. Hand it off. 
Fuller brings him down at the 28 yard line. They went with the running play. You never know when you're going to find some room and break loose into the secondary. Second and eight coming up here. Hand it off to the back. Donaldson records the stop at the 36 yard line. Game set. Third and maybe one. Nice job so far on third down for the offense, and we'll see if that continues here. Again with the run. Big pop that time. Boom. Oh, that is big time football. And John is still trying to move the ball on the ground. This is a tough physical team that likes to run the ball in just about any situation. When you can run the ball consistently, it really wears down the interior line and helps to slow down those pass rushes. He's trying to pin them back as far as possible as he lines up for his third punt. Here's the punt. Took his eyes off the ball, and it's up for grabs. The Cowboys are there to pick up the ball. Number 77 is in there for the score. They'll get set for the extra point. The kick is up. The point anchor is good. The Cowboys are ready to kick this one off. The kick should be returnable. From the five. The defense looks to rebound after that last effort when they allowed a touchdown. Two-minute warning coming up. Moon looking to pass. Lines up with five wide receivers. Can't complete that short pass, and it's second down. Almost at the two-minute mark now. Hand it off. Solid hit. Just crunch it. The thing is, when you get hit like that, it's like having a bumblebee in your helmet. You just can't get rid of it. Two-minute warning coming up. The offense has been stepping it up on third down all day. Gets rid of it. The 50, at the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10, and he high steps his way to the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. The lineup for the extra point. And it's on its way, and the extra point is good. The Oilers are now down by three. The Oilers are lined up for the kickoff. A bad kick, they'll set up for the return. From the 12-yard line. Dallas just barely holding on to this lead. Two minutes left in the quarter. Only one man back. Number 84 moves in motion. Tucks it away. John, one of your favorite terms right here. I'm going to use it. Boom. Yeah, but that's worse than a boom. That kind of hit could loosen your teeth. I'm sure they'll be going to the air as long as they have the ball. Shotgun, shotgun. 
with the throw. This pass is incomplete. That touch pass had very little touch, John. There are times to make throws like that. Time to zing it. He just made the wrong choice. There's no need for the quarterback to force any throws. There's a whole second half to play, and they don't want to be making any mistakes. The Cowboys line up with two backs behind the quarterback. Pressure with the pass. Incomplete. A little lob doesn't find its intended target. So the punt team gets ready as we near halftime. Nothing happening for the offense. They're forced into a three and out. Here's the kick. Andy waves for the fair catch. We're guessing they're going to just throw it and do their best to move into scoring range since they don't want to go into the half with the score the way it is. It's first and ten. Go left, go left. The Cowboys come out of a nickel package. Gets the pass off. This pass is incomplete. And the quarterback is able to tip it away from the intended receiver. He got a good sense of knowing where the ball will come down and when to make his move. The defense needs to remember not to play too soft and give up big gains underneath. But they also don't want to play too tight and end up giving up a big play to set them up in scoring position. Dropping back. Pumps once. With the throw. He hits his receiver. Jones makes the tackle at the 49. Throwing on first down. Surveying the field. Throwing. Can't get him from behind. Washington is the guy who's there to bring him down. At the 41, he's trying to hurry them back to the line. Uses the pump. Drop behind the line for Washington. The always clever veteran gets to the quarterback. When he gets to the quarterback, he doesn't let him get away. And this is the fifth play of this drive. A little over four to go. They've done very well on third down to this point. Play action. At the 30, and he stopped at the 26. Williams grabbed him on that play. He got a big old handful of jersey there. Here's the defense's chance to put an end to this drive. The defensive lineman will be in a full pass rush. So let's see if the guys up front can prevent the sack. Dallas looks like they're playing the pass as they're lined up in the dive. He gets the carry with the throw. Moon here to feel the pressure. Yeah, and that's something the defensive coordinator mentioned in practice this week. Making the quarterback throw the ball before he's ready to throw it. Montgomery comes into the game for the punt. Here's the punt. Fair catch. <laughs> It's first and ten. They line up in the I formation. Johnston. He was really hit hard on that play. Yeah, you talk about your deep cleaner. That's what happened there. He unloaded and he got a deep cleaner. Since they're probably just going to run it out to keep the clock moving, the defense should bring up a safety, putting eight men in the box, unless they see the offense come out in a passing formation. Only one man back. Gets away. Fuller records the tackle at the 16-yard line. And they go with the defense with the run. They're going to keep running to see what the other team is willing to give them on the ground out there. And on third down, I wouldn't expect to see anything but a run. Third and seven. They come out of the nickel. On the call. Smith takes him down at the 17. They've had a tough time establishing their running game so far. This front seven is doing a heck of a job of shutting down the running lane. Good defensive stay in there. Now they'll punt it away after a three and out. Here's the kick. And he chooses not to return this one. <laughs> And here's where efficiency is a the key. They're down right now, but if they score before the half, it'll really help them out. They just can't afford a turnover that gives the other team a chance to increase the lead. Dallas comes out in their nickel package. 
Gets the pass off, and this pass is completed. We see something in the defense. With the throw, he finds his man. Passing on first down. Number 92 makes the stop at the 30. And so the kicker ready to come out onto the field and try to put one through the uprights before halftime. He's made some big kicks in his career, but this one I think might be a little out of his range. And it's up. It's good. He's one of those guys who really works hard at what he does. And you can see that hard work paying off when you make a kick like this one. William, he's back for the kickoff as we take a quick glance at his return numbers. And he got all of that one, a great kick. From the three-yard line. This guy might have a strong arm, but I don't think we'll be seeing any type of Hail Mary. A simple run should get us to halftime. And this should be the last play of the half. Okay, here we go. Smith lines up behind his fullback in the eye. Fuller makes the play at the 26-yard line. At halftime, Dallas, 17. Houston, 17. So before we start the third quarter, Here's a quick look at how both teams have fared in the first half. Both teams have lined up and we're set for the second half kickoff. Decent kick. We should have a return. From the five-yard line. To the 20. Can't bring him down. No one has really taken control so far in this one. It's still anyone's game. John, we talked about it at the beginning of the broadcast, and sure enough, these two teams are deadlocked as we go into the third quarter. Both of these teams are coached well, and both are coming off a solid week of practice. I'm guessing we're going to see a seesaw battle until late in the fourth quarter. Boom, with a man in motion. Number 30. Number 30 couldn't get out of the backfield. That was just a defensive line getting lower than the offensive line. When your defensive guys up front can control the line of scrimmage, it makes it very difficult to move the ball on offense. It's second down and 10 to go. Okay, good three. Number 30, the long setback. Throws it. Oh, he makes the catch anyway. The defense blitzes the corner, but the quarterback got rid of it quickly for a completion and the first down. That was a great play because he saw him coming, remained calm, and threw an accurate pass. So they have first and 10 here. Almost every time they try to run the ball on first down, they've had little or no success. In a tight game, you never want to be one-dimensional. If they're on the verge here, if the first down running doesn't improve. Smith is the guy who's here to bring him down at the 49. Number 88. That's the reception, but it's only about a two-yard pickup. They have to reach the 41 to convert. Gets the pass off, and it's caught. Moon has been perfect on this drive. Yeah, what happens? You get into a rhythm. The way this guy's throwing, he's going to stay in that rhythm until the defense knocks him out of it. First and ten. Almost every time they try to run the ball on first down, they've had little or no success. This boils down to the offensive line allowing too much penetration. Washington brings him down at the 29-yard line. Now let's have a look at what our runners have done up to this point. First down marker just inside the 27. The Cowboys come out in a nickel package. Throws it. And he fails to hang on to that one. And he throws incomplete because he had major pressure. The corner came on a blitz and he sprinted for the quarterback. Guys love the opportunity to get a sack. And that time he just missed taking him down. And this is the seventh play of this drive. The Cowboys come out in a nickel pack. With the pass, short pass to the fullback. Number 32 gets stopped short of the sticks on that play.
number seven. He's heading onto the field for this field goal attempt. And it's on its way. The field goal attempt is good. He sends it right through the upright, his second field goal of the game. Williams gets set to return the kickoff as we take a look at his stats. The Oilers are set to kick it deep. Good distance. From the six. To the 20. It's still pretty early, but it's been an even game so far. We'll have to see who can take control on this drive. So we have first and 10 here. Rushing on first down has not worked out for them today. Less than a two yard per carry average. Stuff like a turkey. I mean, less than two yards isn't very good. He's there to make yet another outstanding defensive play. He made a name for himself with plays like that. He's one of those guys that every defensive coordinator would love to have on his team. He's smart, he plays with good intensity, and he's a heck of a leader on and off the field. Number 89 comes in motion. With the throw, and the catch is made. Number eight seems to put every throw right on the numbers. I'll tell you, of all the quarterbacks in the league, he might be the most accurate. It seems like just about every throw is a good one. He's not the kind of guy who's going to throw a lot of balls into coverage either. So they need about three here. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Smith. Play action. Throws it. The defender's got it. The 30. The 20. The 10. And he showboats his way toward the end zone. Number 93 is in there for the touchdown. So they'll try to tack on the extra point. And it's up. The point after is good. What a shift in this one. 20 unanswered points for them. They're just pouring it on. They're really starting to dominate. As we take a look at his success returning kicks, we get ready for the kickoff. The Oilers are ready to kick this one off. It's on its way. From the eight-yard line. The defensive unit forced an interception the last time they were on the field. First and ten. They're having no success running on first down. Which is one reason why they find themselves on the short end of the stick right now. It's hard to have consistent success without balance. And he chases him down behind the line of scrimmage for a loss. I'll tell you, he's one of the most knowledgeable defenders in the league. He knows how to play the game, and he always knows what's going on. They line up in the I formation. They'll go with a play fake. Rosen, Brown, makes the tackle at the 30. Number eight, great athlete, and throws one of the prettiest balls in the NFL. Yeah, receivers love playing with him because he'll never hang you out to dry. That's something he's always had. Good rotation and a soft touch. Third and inches. The bats are lined up in an eye. He'll sneak it. Smith records the stop at the 37-yard line. He runs with it and cruises past the first down marker. That's a dangerous call. Not a good idea to have your quarterback take too many unnecessary hits down there. So they have first and ten here. They're having no success running on first down. That's why they're losing. You've got to be able to get yards on first down. Good read, finding the single coverage in the secondary. It's first and ten. The Cowboys line up with two backs behind the quarterback. Ooh, what impact. They're trying to move the ball on the ground. A running attack that is consistent and effective will help the offense dictate the pace of the game. And this is the sixth play of this drive. The ball is right at midfield. No goal from the I formation. Irvin comes in motion. Number 91, belts him hard at the 49-yard line. Smith didn't get any help from his offensive line. It was just about impossible to run when you have guys in the backfield just as soon as you snap the ball. Seventh play of this drive. Ball right around midfield. 
defense lines up in the nickel. Drops back under pressure. Incomplete. The quarterback was hit just as he was releasing the pass. Yeah, he got out of there, but it was way off because of that hit he took. This punter has been out there all day long. I guarantee you he's loose. Here's the punt. He signals for a fair catch. It's first and ten. They can't get it done on the ground on first down, John, but they're still leading in this one. Some teams manage to get by pretty well without a solid running game. And that's mostly because their passing game is very effective, especially their short passing game. The quarterback thought he had that one. you got to deliver the ball out there quickly, but it has to be catchable. you got to use some touch. Number 67 makes the tackle at the 20. So after that run, we can see how the two main threats on the ground have fared so far. Here is a third and long situation. Moon scans the defense from the gun. Gets rid of it. This pass is incomplete. And this ball falls to the ground incomplete. This is one of those guys who's working really hard to improve himself. Every now and then, he'll let one bounce off his hands like that, but most of the time, you can rely on him to make the catch when you really need it. They're unable to pick up the first down, and here comes the punting unit again for the sixth time. Here's the kick. He's waving for the fair catch. <laughs> so they have first and ten here. Only one man back. Closes it out to the left. Number 59 with the tackle at the 40. We're going to keep testing this rushing defense. The guy seems to get stronger every time he touches the ball. Second and seven. Smith, the lone setback. Stiff arm to the ground. Big hit there. He was run over by a truck. Yeah, <laughs> two-ton truck pulling a trailer. <laughs> Stepnoski held him up. The rule on the hold is you can't let your hands go to the outside of the body. If your hands do move outside, then you have to move them back in as soon as you can, or you'll get called for holding. Smith, the lone back. With the throw. A little off target, but caught. The 40. He's on the run. The 20. The 10. Touchdown, Cowboys. He throws that one for a touchdown on second and long. Great call, perfectly executed. They'll try to tack on the extra point. The kick is up, and he tacks on the extra point. The Cowboys are within a field goal of time the game. A good-looking drive, and they score the touchdown. The offensive unit should be very pleased with their performance on that one. Yeah, they were able to get some other players involved. Anytime you can accomplish that, it gets your whole team excited. The Cowboys are lined up for the kickoff. Should be a return here. From the eight-yard line to the 20. The offense takes over after they were three and out on their last possession. It's first and ten. Despite very little success running on first down, they still lead. And running is important, but they've got other weapons that can get them in the end zone. Good pass rush, John, as they try to disrupt the timing. And the guys up front got good pressure, forcing him to get rid of that one before he wanted to. Shotgun, shotgun. The Cowboys come out in a nickel packet. It's the pass off. 
He had a shot, but couldn't come up with it. So that one flutters incomplete. He put too much touch in that one. And here's what they've been able to do so far on third down. Third down conversions is a keeper stat. When you convert on third down, you keep three things. You keep your drive going, you keep their defense on the field, and you keep your defense resting on the sideline. He was looking for single coverage, got it, but the throw was off target. Following the interception, it's now first and ten. Only one man in the backfield. Closing in, so they'll lose yardage on that tackle by Childress. Childress gets to him in a hurry. And he really overpowered the blocker that time. He's a big, big, strong man. Now in second and long after the sack. Nickelback in this time. Dropping back, pumps once. Rosen, Dishman, makes the stop at the 32. Clark pulls in that pass, making his fourth catch of the game. So they've dug themselves into a hole here, a long third down situation. The Oilers come out in a nickel package. Pressure coming, gets rid of it, comes in low, but he has it. Number 84 doesn't get enough to convert, and that brings up the fourth down. This attempt is good. We'll have a tie game. And it's up. Through the uprights and good. The Cowboys knotted up. The Cowboys are set to kick it deep. Nice hit. From the eight-yard line to the 20. The defense intercepted a pass their last time out. First and ten. Number 30. Play action. Flings it to the outside. He's on the run. Washington takes him down at the 39-yard line. Good pass to the fullback on that play, John. And don't be surprised if they look in his direction again. He's not just a solid lead blocker. He can hurt you in the passing game, too. It's first and ten. He'll go from the eye formation. Hand it off. Number three couldn't find an opening. Was brought down very quickly. Yeah, he was. This line has to do a better job of holding up at the point of attack. He has a fast first step. He can explode through the hole. And he needs a line to create that little crease or cutback lane to break free. We've got a good one going here as we head to the fourth quarter, and it's all tied up. Dallas, 27. Houston, 27. The Oilers have possession here at the start of the fourth quarter in this game, which is tied. Second and 10. Boom. Sends a man in motion. Woodson takes him down at the 47-yard line. So it's his legs and not his arm that picks up yardage here, John. Yeah, he dropped back to pass, saw the coverage downfield, and he decided to take it himself. Two yards to go. Number 30. And he barely got enough. He lowers his shoulder and powers his way to the first. He put his head down and laid somebody out on that run. Fifth play of this drive. The ball is right at midfield. They'll go from the I formation. Throws it. Short pass to the fullback. Smith records the tackle at the 44-yard line. Number 32. Reception in a five-yard game. Sixth play of this drive. A little over four to go. Off to the tailback. You can hear the collision up here. He's feeling it right now. Either that or he's numb all over. And that's worse. Game of three. And this is the seventh play of this drive. One yard to go. 
The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Gets rid of it. He hits his receiver. So they're able to pick up another first down. And this offense is clicking. They're making the right calls at the right time. So they have first and ten here. They line up in the I formation. Hill in motion. He'll get it again. Stop behind the line. The offensive line didn't get much of a push on that play, and the runner is stuck. As soon as he got the ball, there was a defender in his face to knock him down. They'll convert for the first down if they can get the ball inside the 21. He'll go from the I formation. Number 30. Number 92. Got a very good penetration there. They're not just going to give up on the run, no matter how ineffective it is. On third down now, they have to get it to the 21-yard line to pick up a first. Drops back. He surveys the field, throws it over the middle. He finds his man. Givens makes the catch, but he's just short of the first down. From here, this will be about a 46-yard field goal. The kick is up. The kick sails through. It's good. The Oilers leading in the game, but not by much. The Oilers are ready to kick this one off. Nice kick and returnable from the eight to the 20. Just about ready for the first play of this drive. They were able to pick up a field goal on their last drive. First and 10. The backs are lined up in an eye. Refuses to go down. Dives and makes the tackle. Good game for the offense here in the second half. This is one of those guys who seems to play better as the game goes on. The more he gets the ball, the better he does. So I'd expect to see him get quite a few touches here as the game winds down. Second and four coming up here. The Oilers come out in a nickel package. The 50, the 40. He's finally brought down at the 35. Smith continues to assert himself with a running game. It's first and ten. Smith, the lone back. Number eight with a man in motion. Crosses it out to the left. Drop behind the line for a loss of a couple. So let's take a look at how this back compares to the opposition. They need to reach the 25 to convert. Smith records the tackle at the 34-yard line. So a pickup of maybe three. They'll be faced with a long third down play here. Come out of the nickel. Dropping back. Gets the pass off. This pass is incomplete. Way too high for that pass. Huge kick here. If he can make this, we'll be all tied up. And it's on its way. Number 18 sent that one right through his third of the game. How good has this game been? And we may be headed for overtime. All I can say is, wow, both teams have fought hard and will look to just reach a little further down within themselves. The Cowboys are lined up for the kickoff. Nice kick. Plenty of distance. From the five-yard line. To the 20. Yes. The Oilers will start the drive from 29.
First and ten. Unstoppable force meets an immovable object. Well, the unstoppable force won that one. Nine yards Ooh. to go. Ooh. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Another run. Jump pulls him down at the 30-yard line. And so that makes tackle number six. Number third couldn't pick up any blocking on that play. The defense is always very aggressive when defending the run. They're extremely disciplined. They get off their blocks very quickly. Makes it tough to find openings when you're running the ball. Dallas comes out in their nickel package. Dropping back. Gets the pass off. And the catch is made. Boom. Guns on for a first down. Let me tell you, the biggest pass rush in the world when to stop that one. First and ten. Number 92 records the tackle at the 40. Gain of about a yard. It's second down and 10 to go. Number 30, the lone back. Again with the carry. Joe makes the play at the 42 yard line. So a gain of about one. Sixth play of this drive. Eight to go. Boom. Gains the defense from the gun. Throws it. Perfect pass. Home with the tackle at the 39-yard line. Perfect pass. Great catch. And that'll move the chains. Ball on the 39-yard line. Seventh play of this drive. Almost at the two-minute mark now. Number 30 lines up behind his fullback in the eye. Jones breaks the play up in the backfield. He laid a good hit on him there and recorded his eighth tackle of the game. They tried to get around the corner, but nobody got fooled. You talk about a sense of knowing where a play is heading. That's just great instinct. Ball on the 40-yard line. And this is the eighth play of this drive. And we've reached the two-minute mark. The Cowboys not in a nickel pack. Defense looking for the run, and the run just about got back to the line of scrimmage. There was no possibility of going up the middle and picking up anything. Gets the pass off, right to him. Brown makes the tackle at the 29. So as the game winds down, we'll see the place picker. Number seven will come in looking to try the field goal. And it's up. It's good. A lot of scoring so far today. It's still anyone's game. It's great when it all comes together. The Oilers are set to kick it deep. Good kick should be returnable. From the six. To the 20. You got plenty of time left. And all they need is a field goal. So they don't have to abandon their game plan here. There's still time left as they try to get into field goal range, but you would think most of the passes will go toward the sideline. Directing traffic. Out of the gun. Going to the air on first down. It's batted away. Time is working against them. Yeah, I'm thinking they're going to keep going to the air, but it might be a little too late. Number eight will work out of the shotgun. Pressure, throwing. Incomplete pass. And they have to go to the air because they need big plays fast. That's right. you got to have composure in these situations. Find your receivers who can pick up yardage after the catch. But most importantly, you have to keep the chains moving. This is where a defense has to make a stand and win the game for their team. If they can hold them for two plays, then they should be going home as winners. So it's up to them to decide how this game's going to end. Drops back. With the throw, he hits his receiver. He just unloaded on it. Boom. Now that is what football's all about. Every one of these guys on defense is loving it. 
They've kept him from getting the first for three plays. And all they got to do is come through one more time and give their team a win. There's no hesitation here. They're going to go for it. Gets the pass off. They go for it and don't make it. That was a conversion the offense needed. They have to be disappointed. And it's worse because now the other team has the ball. This one is just about in the book. And it appears this one is going to be looked at. Yeah, and because it's in the last two minutes, that call came down from the replay booth. So as the referee looks at a few angles, we'll do the same. And now it all depends on what we can see because the referee is going to see the same thing. I think it's a catch. That's a tough call. It depends on what angle you're looking at it from. I guess it'll be a judgment call by the official. The guys upstairs made the right call as the referee overturned the call and got it right. Yep, and it's important to get the calls right in these last two minutes. Out of the shotgun. Throwing on first down with the pass. This one falls incomplete. The wobbly pass falls to the ground incomplete. That pass had incompletion or interception written all over it. One play down, three to go for this defense to stop this drive and get the win. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Drops back. Gets rid of it. Nearly intercepted. No choice here, John. They just have to keep throwing. Yeah, they do. Running the ball isn't going to do a whole lot of good now. Smith, the long setback. With the throw. He's out of rhythm on this drive. Can't seem to get it going. I'll tell you, we get a lot of different looks on this drive. And the quarterback's having a tough time adjusting on those last few passes. Hey, this isn't going to be an easy pickup. But the offense has to believe that they can do it when they've already lost the game. The line has to give the quarterback some time so he can find an open guy and keep this thing going. Looking downfield with the pass. The offense turns the ball over on downs. When a team gambles and makes it, the coach is a hero. If they fail, everyone will second-guess the coach all week long. So the defense can use its last time out here after first down, but two kneel downs will close this game out. So they'll just wind the clock down and get out of here with a win. He'll just take a knee. Just over a minute still to go. what happened here he just got unloaded on a kneel down here should be the last play of the game they need to reach the 25 to convert and there's the kneel down by the quarterback get it this will be about a 53 yard attempt there's the final gun the final score is Houston 33 Dallas 30 close game to explosive offenses scoring nearly at will and just a field goal was the difference Number 93 wins the horse trailer player of the game award.